Hello and welcome to the Prop Guide Show. My name is Srinivas Raut. The Noida versus Goodgaon debate has always been the topic of discussion among home buyers in the national capital region. Goodgaon boasts itself as the millennium city and it attracts more people than Noida. So what are the basic qualities that Goodgaon has over Noida which essentially attracts more people towards it? And what are the qualities that Noida has? And to know more about that we have Mr. Ankur Dhawan, who is the Chief Business Officer, Resale at Prop Tiger. Welcome, Mr. Dhawan, to our show. Thanks. So, Mr. Dhawan, what are the defining factors that Gurgaon has which makes it more attractive when compared to Noida? Good question. See, if you look at Gurgaon, the location of Gurgaon uh, as it developed was closer to South Delhi. Uh, so, if you see the people who moved to Gurgaon first were the people who were residing in the South Delhi, which is supposed to be the cream of cream of Delhi. So, that has been a one advantage where they were able to attract good number of people of a high living class. Uh, the second advantage which Gurgaon has is the proximity to the airport, uh, which brings a lot of good uh, MNC's corporate headquarters to Gurgaon which improves the high salary paying jobs. Uh, the proportion of that in Gurgaon is much higher compared to the other NCR towns. So these are two major advantages which Gurgaon had. In addition to that, if you look at the kind of uh, the density norms, the kind of uh, residential apartment, the kind of supply which is available in Gurgaon is much better than the Noida, which has also attracted some of the uh, high, uh, high end segment of the, I'll say the population to stay in Gurgaon. Well, talking about Noida, Noida has reasonably you know, open spaces, it has you know, better traffic facilities. So, is it kind of a perception issue which makes Gurgaon more attractive? I think, see, people like to stay where their jobs are. So, let's, let's clarify that part. Uh, yes, the, if you look at the infrastructure, Noida beats Gurgaon when it comes to the kind of expressway, the kind of roads, the kind of, uh, I'll say, the greenery which you see, the kind of planning which has been done in Noida compared to Gurgaon, you'll find Noida beats Gurgaon on any, on any factors which you will talk about. But uh, because Noida is not able to attract the kind of employment, if you look at some of the initial days of the Noida when it was developing, a lot of IT companies moved to sector 62, sector the NEPZ and the, in the expressway. But in recent past, uh, the IT companies or the services companies have not moved to Noida, but these companies are moving to Gurgaon. So that is the reason why you see the Gurgaon people want to stay because of the employment. If you look at the, recently, if you look at some of the startups, uh, when they were thinking about moving into one of the NCR towns, they also chose Gurgaon over Noida. So if you look at Snapdeal, Zomato, uh, when they were taking the decision whether they want to stay in Gurgaon or Noida, they went to Gurgaon. Noida uh, has both industrial and uh, services sector related headquarters uh, in its vicinity. Whereas, Gurgaon has more of service sector headquarters in its area. So, do you think that precisely gives the advantage to Gurgaon? See, Gurgaon, when they started developing Gurgaon, uh, the first few companies which moved to Gurgaon were the BPOs. If you look at the Genpact and the Converges, when they started operating out of Gurgaon, they are able to attract the population of South Delhi and the West Delhi, which was there. Uh, that is the reason because of initial push which Gurgaon got because services company, uh, they continue to develop the infrastructure, the social infrastructure which supports that kind of employment, which supports that kind of the company and supports the kind of the residents of the Gurgaon. It has also been uh, discussed, so as I discussed earlier as well, South Delhi people moved uh, by selling their uh, land holdings, their, their, their kothis and they moved to Gurgaon for a better life. So most of the retired uh, army guys, army people have gone to Gurgaon because they thought this is a much better lifestyle they can live compared to South Delhi and the crowded areas of Delhi where the parking is a challenge, amenities is a challenge. So that is, that is why the Gurgaon, you see that services companies have also gone there. Uh, if you look at, uh, and also the proximity to the airport which I talked about, so if you look at the, all the consulting companies, all the banking companies, financial services company, uh, or, or you look at the high-end IT companies, all of them have opened their offices in Gurgaon. And how does the land policy uh, in both the areas impact the selection of home buyers? Uh, if you look at uh, Noida and Gurgaon, they have very different land policies. Noida is completely leasehold, whereas Gurgaon is completely freehold. If you look at the way Noida works is that government, the authority acquires the land and then it leases to the builder for development and that's why builder does not need to pay full amount of the land in the beginning. That gives them the cushion to reduce the price as well. If you look at the Gurgaon, Gurgaon is a freehold where the developers acquire the land directly from the farmers as per the development plan. 
so that is a big major difference people who are looking for a lease uh, who are looking for a freehold which is what uh, a person who wants to buy a property will look at he will prefer gurgaon over noida that is one difference the second difference if you look at the fsi and far which are given in noida versus gurgaon in noida the fsi uh, far starts at 2.75 and if you are closer to metro you can get up to 3.5 whereas in uh, gurgaon it is very very less is 1.5 only even the density norms in uh, noida is around 600 people per acre whereas in gurgaon it is 300 so nearly half so that means that you can't build a very uh, very large very small houses in gurgaon so most of the houses in gurgaon you'll see even the 2 bhk starts at 1600 square feet 3 bhk goes to 2000 square feet the large houses obviously it impacts the budget requirement for a person to buy a home and the quality of the home which will be built in there those houses in those apartment complexes will be better than what you get in noida so depending upon whether you're looking for a premium lifestyle you're looking a better living style better kind of apartment better amenities people will prefer gurgaon over noida does gurgaon's new age infrastructure like the pubs uh, restaurants hotels malls do they really you know cater to the aspiration of the young working class and hence they prefer gurgaon over noida uh, yes if you look at gurgaon has the most number of malls if you start with that but that is that is a function of the kind of demography you have in a particular city noida has been more of a retired government officials whereas noida has been as so a gurgaon has been more of a, a young crowd Uh, new age companies the services company the startup companies and the young age crowd will obviously look for the kind of uh, entertainment options which they look at are uh, more of a pubs the good restaurant the malls where they can go and shop so that uh, i think it's a it's a circle uh, because people uh, that kind of people move to the particular place that's why the kind of social infrastructure which is developing in gurgaon supports that kind of population and it's a positive cycle which is started in uh, gurgaon whereas noida we don't have too many malls there are the restaurants also not that great but if you look at the uh, the living style which a retired person will like to have you'll find noida much better because there's no traffic everything is close by you can go to a market in a sector itself so that is where the decisions are taken what kind of people and what kind of companies they will like to work in determines whether they want to stay in gurgaon or noida thanks mr dhawan for giving your time thanks thanks for watching our show stay connected mm-hmm.